Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for Classic and welcome to Benchart. So for today we are here to try how Twin Mirror runs on the Intel UHD 620. So this game is developed by Don't Nod Entertainment, the same guys behind Life is Strange series and also the most recent um, Tell Me Why, but also different games like Vampire and also and moreover Remember Me. So this game, this Wind Mirror, it is a kind of a Life is Strange game, so it's not the, like Vampire or any sort of uh, stuff like it. And today we are here to try and see how it runs on the damn Intel G620. And the thing is, it does run, although it needs a little bit of tweaking. And since I'm an asshole, I forgot to show you the settings on the game. So in case you want to check it out, the settings that I did use, just go to the description of the video. You will find there a link to the Google Docs and that will take you to the, my database where I store everything, including screenshots of the settings that I did use. So looking to the requirements, there is no specification in here for the Intel GPUs. So yeah, you are... You are you don't really know if you can run this game or not just by looking to the requirements of most games. But the thing is, it does run. Although, with a caveat. Alright, let's start with 720 people settings. By using this setting, unfortunately, 80% of the time, the game was under 30 frames per second. Which is quite unfortunate, and that's why I decided to put my hands to the task, and I started to search for the config file of the game. And since this game it is an Unreal Engine 4 game, usually all the games contain some config file. And so by going to the config file of the game, I was able to reduce the resolution scaling to 75%, which provided me a much more pleasant experience. So overall, the entire game was above 30 frames per second, with around 15% of the time the game was dropping under that. So my benchmark pass, it was just at the start of the game. Uh, because I thought it was more demanding than the one hour that I have played. So this first sequence, it is kind of a big benchmark to, to this card, especially because at the first minute or first few minutes, the game just takes a lot of time to build the textures. And this is not something that it is exclusive to Intel GPUs. Even my Nvidia GT 740M shared the same issue. So it just took like one or two minutes to just try to load the entire textures. And while it wasn't there, it was kind of stuttering all over the place. But after those, after the textures, were loaded, the game was simply fine. So, if you find this issue, just add the game, load the textures for one minute, and then proceed and play. That's the only issue so far that I have with the game. Also, like I was telling you, I was I have gone to the config file of the game and adjusted the resolution scaling to 75%. To do that, just go to the description of the video. I have there a very quick explanation how you can do that and boost your performance, of course, at the cost of image quality. Most of the games nowadays contains resolutions, uh, resolutions coming sliders for you to choose um, what, res in what internal resolution you want to use inside the game, but unfortunately Twin Mirror does not contain that. But since, again, since this is an Unreal Engine 4 title, all these kind of options uh, can be found in the config file. So, yes, the game it is running at something below than 720p, thanks to resolution scaling. Yes, it does drop sometimes below 30 frames per second, and yes, we are playing with low settings and the game has some issues loading the textures at uh, the initial, at uh, every time you start a new level or every, every time the game loads a new area. It is true, but it is also playable, and that's what I, I have to say, it is super playable nonetheless, this is a story driven game. You don't have too much interactivity with the world or gameplay-wise. So you, if you played Life is Strange, you know what the hell I'm talking about. Because it is mostly just uh, replying to conversations and hearing the story and replying to other conversations. Conversations have impact on the story. You know, all that kind of stuff. There might be KTAs, despite I haven't found any inside the game. And there are some playable moments there, which looks like Subway Surfer. But honestly, in my opinion, I think that despite the game does drop from time to time from from those 30 frames per second, the game it is still super playable with the Intel HD 620. Now, you probably are noticing that the video it is locked to 30 frames per second. Yes, it is true. I have done that mostly because my Intel GPU overheats a lot, so I tend to lock the frame rate to 30 
or 60 depending on the game but the results that i got you there back there in the video like on the first minute those results were with frame rate unlocked and without recording so that's the experience that you can expect so now that i've talked everything about the performance let's not talk a little bit about the game so what can I say about Twin Mirror? I'm just going to talk based on community reviews and critics and also based on two hours I have played the game. Since the game it is developed by Don't Nod, you know the type of experience that you can expect from this game. Something like Life is Strange or the most recent titles like Tell Me Why. So it's the same type of gameplay. You just talk to the characters, make decisions and the decisions will somewhat affect your playthrough or the ending. But the thing is, this game and its story, according to the community, it isn't really compelling. Especially the main character, they say that uh, it isn't really interesting and the backstory resembles a sheep TV show. Cheap. There are some new elements into this game which are quite nice, like running away uh, off uh, a trash in a control-ish environment from a guy trying to avoid obstacles subway surfer style. And also we got new elements uh, from Sherlock Holmes games where we collect pieces of evidences and then we need to pull all the stuff together in the correct order so we can advance. It's nothing new at all, other games have done this, but it's still nice to see more and more stuff being added to the Don't Not games aside from just see the story and make decisions. You can expect this game to be completed in about 6 hours. And as for the story, the description page of the game kinda sums it up quite well, so I would just read what's written in there. Sam Higgs was done with Basswood, West Virginia, but it seems it wasn't done with him. When the former investigative journalist returns to its hometown to say a final farewell to his best friend, it soon becomes clear that there are more chapters to be written in its troubled story. Forced to confront his past, Sam finds himself torn between uh, reconnecting with his loved ones and using his unique intellectual abilities to uncover the town's dark secrets. But how do you know who to trust when you sure when you are not even sure you can trust yourself? Yeah, that's a big problem there. Trusting yourself in this game. The, the award-winning storytelling at Don't Not invites you on another twisting adventure. Well, community it is not really satisfied with your story, so yeah. Technically-wise, this game it is very well optimized, as you could saw. Any recent GPU-included uh, Intel integrated graphic cards can run the game. And like usual, they don't really push the graphics and display the typical Life is Strange 2 or Tell Me Why graphics. So facial animations are mostly the same as the other previous games as well. On Metacritic, the game's score it is 67 from 0 to 100s on 40 reviews by the critics, but the user score it is even worse, so it is 5.5 .5 on average score from 0 to 10. So community it isn't really satisfied with this game. The game it is also an epic store exclusive by the time of this video and costs about 29.99, so it's not expensive, but given the score that the game have, it is also not very cheap, so if I would guess, I would say that this game will appear on a sale probably more sooner than we expect, or probably on Xbox Game Pass, who knows. So guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about Twin Mirror, hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Sam, what are you doing? I'm trying to be romantic. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. I'm down on one knee. A ring. What else would I be doing? You look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam. Put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. You should know that. We've discussed it before.
We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? I missed the funeral. Maybe it's for the best. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. The good news, though, at least you don't have to do it alone. <laughs>